Thank you. To the Louvre. Oh, yeah, I remember this from yesterday, I think. Okay, there it is. I'm being a total tourist wanker with the headphones and the interactive map. See, there's missing pieces. This represents the goddess of victory or Nike, Roman antiques. What's awesome is there are no lines here or people around at all. I'm going to listen to the audiobook on this with my headphones. These are the Greek statues. So I did the Romans first. This is the Venus Domino. These are like stained glass and you can see so much detail if you go in close. This is where we're going. I'm so lucky today. Normally this is packed for this. So this is on the back wall of probably my favorite room. So you're looking at this, a whole bunch of paintings. And this is the lineup area for the Mona Lisa, which we'll go and check up closer in a second, but I'll just show you the whole room first.
there's a whole bunch of people enjoying each other's company. It's obviously BC before COVID. These the Four Seasons paintings, painted by Giuseppe Archcrimbolda in 19, uh, 1573, and each face is made up of things which grow in that certain season. So this is summer. You can see his cheek is a peach, his tongue is pear. It's made up of grapes, and this is spring, so it's, the face is made up of flowers. And I guess that's autumn, and winter. beautiful room by the way. We've got a David and Goliath painting here. And on the other side you have another David and Goliath. This is the Napoleon the Third Apartments. That's on the roof, which is cool. So we're looking on the roof. That's the chandelier. giant mirror. This takes up the entire wall. So finished with the move, that was amazing. 